Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 3 of this RMS Titanic tutorial. Today's focus will be the ship's main decks, uh, the forecastle deck, the stern poop deck, and the beginnings of the uh, mid superstructure, or the main superstructure, so there's plenty to do. Uh, but first we're going to add the, the uh, main deck of the ship. I don't know what the, the uh, number or letter of this deck is, but it goes from the uh, top of the hull all the way to the back end. There's probably, I don't know, C deck or B deck, I don't know. But we'll go to the tip of the bow. The front end of the ship into the top line of uh, top line of the black. We just add the decking. This is going to take a long time, but it goes from the front of the ship, the tip of the bow right there, all the way to the back, all the way to the stern, and it goes along the top line of the black. So this is one of those time-consuming jobs. That's going to take a bazillion years to do single-handedly. But uh, if you've got weld edit or you've got a team of people working with you, then this will be a perfect thing for that. So. I'm going to just fill in the first few sections so you know what I've been rabbiting about and then I'll uh, use the fill tool <laughs> and then you can see the uh, deck going in place there so that is where the deck will go so I'm going to go down to uh, just below the deck here and I'm going to use the fill tool put a block there and stand on it and use the fill tool which is uh, fill words by 300 and this may take a while because you've got to process a lot of blocks but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Do, 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 do. But we'll wait and see anyway. So once this deck is in place, which will take a few minutes by uh, judging by uh, how long it's taking now, um, I'm going to go underneath this main deck as well and show you the placement of the next decks underneath. Each deck on this ship, apart from the superstructure on the top, i.e. the bridge and things like that, all the decks are a four block gap between each other, so they're all even. Um, so it's basically every fifth block there's a deck. So you've got a four block gap, plenty of headroom, basically. Um, but like I said, the bridge and all the deck houses on the top of the ship, on the on the boat deck, will be uh, three block gaps, I think. Um, I have to double check that later on, but I'm pretty sure all of the uh, deck houses on the top will be uh, just three block gaps. And uh, eventually this will uh, work as well. I think the uh, folks will work as a three block gap. No, 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 that's a four block gap, sorry. Um, oh, come on. It's going to take a while, isn't it? Uh, maybe a jump cut. Right, there we go. The deck is added, eventually. Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, top deck added. I'm just going to fly down to the back end, because I don't think... No, it's not. The, the back end is not filled in yet. So i just get on the back end and uh, fill in that section as well. And uh, then we'll uh, move on to the next bit. Uh, hate this thing. Right, so I'll just pop another block there and stand on that and do the same thing again. Shouldn't take as long this time. He lied. And uh, we'll see what happens. But it's, it's basically just well that it just, it's got to process a lot of blocks. So, uh, I mean, the first one was sort of. How long was it? It was 12,948 blocks. That first half of the deck. So, this is another uh, another five five and a half thousand blocks to go in. So, another jump cut required, I think. Right, there we go, that's the other deck, well not the other half of the deck done, so that is all of that bit done there, and uh, it should look something like this, so it goes all the way up to the stern, around the curvy bit of the stern there, so it really highlights the curve now, so you can see it a lot better. Right, so that's that, I'm going to go to roughly the middle of the ship so we can get the uh, details of the next few decks out of the way, so let's get under about here, get under the side, and then you can see, uh, let's go through this gap here. And what we're going to do, we're going to uh, show you where the next decks go. I'm not going to put the next decks in. Uh, I'm going to leave this all empty, but uh, it's something for you to do later on. So I'm going one, two, three, four, four blocks, and then a deck, and then one, two, three, four, and another deck, and then one, two, three, four, and another, another deck, and then one, two, three, four, and another deck. So that's the uh, layout of the decks. Each with a four block gap between them, so you've got plenty of headroom. So I'm going to remove these white blocks now. But like I say, it is uh, there is plenty of headroom now when you're in inside the ship. So like I say, it's a four block gap, and it'll go from front to back. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with these decks. Uh, I may come back and do them later on, but I'll just get the main uh, body of the ship out of the way. So that is that. That's the decks laid out. So what I'm going to do now is fly to the front end of the ship and we've got to add the yellow line now. There's a yellow line that goes around the full uh, what sort of diameter perimeter of the, uh, yeah, of the ship. 
and we'll go from the tip of the bow again uh, and we're going to use what do I normally use? Uh, oh, that one. It's uh, yellow terracotta. It was always called terracotta. I thought it was hardened clay, wasn't it? Anyway, we use the terracotta now. So we go for the tip of the bow. And on top of all the uh, black blocks of the bow, we just add the yellow line all the way around. So all the way around the tip of the bow, from, from the tip of the bow, around the side, and I go around the back end as well. So it's. Uh, Another little time consuming job, but it's something that can be sped up and done much quicker. So I just do this, I do one side, one half of the ship, and then I'll have to do a jump cut and copy flip it. So I'm just going to go right down the length of the side of the ship. And this is sort of being used as the um, white star yellow, if you like, the white star buff. So it's the same colour is going to be used uh, on the funnels. Uh, funnels and some of the trim on the superstructure as well. So that is the this is the colour we're going to be using. Uh, originally on my original tutorial, I used just yellow wool and it was a bit too bright, but this colour is just fine um, for what it is, and uh, it looks all right. So just go down the side of the ship. It's another time-consuming job, I know, but has to be done. And then once we get the yellow line out of the way, we can move on to the more important bits like the forecastle and the stern poop deck. I know everyone's going to laugh at the poop deck, but that's what it's called. I don't know why. I think it's a, I think it's the French word for stern deck, so I don't know why. Don't uh, quote me on that one. I'm just sort of what I've read in, over time. But we're up to the stern now, so we just do the yellow line around the back end here. And I know I could have used... Well, I did it as well, but never mind. There we go, that's up to the centre line, so that's the back end of the stern done. And taking note as well that the yellow line does not overhang any blocks either, it's, it just sits on top of the black, and it doesn't overhang at all. So that is uh, the yellow line added one side of the ship. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I do the other side, and then we'll move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've done the uh, yellow line on both sides now, and it should look something like this. Uh, before we move on though, I just want to uh, explain that... Uh, well, something I should have done at the beginning of this tutorial anyway, but uh, if you're going to be building this ship and then using it uh, as a video or a downloadable project, then fair enough, by all means do so, but just if it, don't forget to add me as a, for a bit of credit, you know, for the design, because I put my heart and soul into this ship, so um, a little bit of credit doesn't go, f uh, well, would do quite nicely. Anyway, enough about the bullshit, let's get on with the folks. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to the tip of the bow, and the forecastle deck. Remember, the forecastle is pronounced forecastle, although it's spelt forecastle. So, if you see forecastle, it's forecastle, right? So, on the tip of the bow, I'm going to build up in white four blocks. So, one, two, three, four up like that. And then, using wood blocks, you're going to go from the top block here. You're going to add 64. That's six four wood blocks. So, I shall just measure from the first one, and then we'll add the rest. I won't count them. I'll measure them when I get to the end. So. Just build a line 64 wood blocks long. How far is that? That is 53. That is 65. So it's gone too far by one. And there we go. That is 64. So that's 64 wood blocks. That's fine. As it says at the end of that pink sentence at the bottom. And then at the end, you add a white block like that. So you've got the full length of the forecastle right there. And then from that wood block, uh, that white block, sorry, you want to add 20 blocks of white out to the side. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's 20 out to the side. And then 4 down or 3 down. 1, 2, 3 on top of the yellow line there. So that's the full width of the folks. So I did the same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 1, 2, 3 there. So there we go, that's the full shape of the foot, well not the full shape, but the full uh, diameter width, <coughs> width and length of the forecastle. Right, so now what we want to do is go back to the tip of the bow and just build up the white section on top of the yellow. So on top of all the yellow blocks we just build the forecastle 
or the white section of the foxhole up to the height of four blocks. So I'll do one side like normal and then I'll do a jump cut and or just copy flip it and we'll see where we go from there. See how long it takes. May take a while because I'm doing it freehand. So you can see none of the blocks uh, overhang at all, they're just straight up, so it's a very uniform design. You can make it a bit more curvy if you want to, but I'd recommend if you're following this tutorial start to finish, then I'd recommend you finish the tutorial first and then go back and make the adjustments that you need, because it's it just makes life a bit easier. Otherwise you'd be complaining to me that the bits don't add up. Do 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 Right, so nearly at the end there, so bear with me on this one, you may want to skip ahead a few minutes if I'm just doing this all in camera. So you know I'm not cheating, although really I am because I've got world edit at my uh, disposal. But the last few sections to go. And there will be portholes added to this section as well, but we'll worry about them later on and just get the main bulk of the uh, forecastle out of the way. And there we go, that's the uh, forecastle side done, so that's one side done anyway, and it should look something like that. And then what we want to do is just do the same thing on the other side, but I won't do that because I can't be, I can't be asked. So I'm just going to use World Edit to copy flip it, and then we'll move on to the next bit. So we'll go to the centre there, use the copy, flip, and paste. And there we go, that's both sides done, and it should look something like that. So we've got the forecastle all done. Well, the, the, the diameter of it anyway, and you can see on the main, th in, on the prototype, you can see there are windows added to the side, but we'll worry about that another time or later on today, we'll see. Anyway, what we're going to do now is go down to deck level at the back end of the forecastle. So we're going to go to the left hand side, and right underneath the, uh, stri the um, horizontal section there, we're going to uh, uh, we're going to build inwards, and we're going to use the yellow blocks for it. And how do we do this? We're going to go from the from the yellow block here, right underneath the uh, horizontal line here, uh, the very back end of the folks. So I'm going to build inwards six. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then forward four, I think. Hang on, bear with me on this one. No, build an eleven. So, so I apologise. It's meant to be eleven. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then uh, forward five. One, two, three, four, five. I apologise there. So it's eleven in. And then forward five, and then six across. We go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four back. One, two, three, four, like that. And it should be should be shaped something like that. So you got the the, the eleven right underneath the uh, the white line, and then five forward, uh, six across, and then four back, like so. And then we do the same the other side and do it right this time. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then f uh, 5 forward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 4 back, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. And then we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 across like that to join them together. And that is the uh, back wall of the forecastle laid out. And then what we want to do is double the height of that to two blocks high, but in yellow. So it's two yellow blocks high. Like so, all the way across, like so, and then we add a white line across the top. Like so, and then um, from the, the the line that goes right across the width of the ship, there you're going to add a white line underneath that as well. So basically, just fill in the gap at the end. So add a white line uh, all the way across. So instead of going around the line of the inner walls, there you just carry on straight across. Like 
and it should all line up just like that. So there we go. That is the uh, forecastle back wall. Yeah, back wall done. So you see, you've got this entrance here. You've got, you know, you, eventually, this will have doors and things added to it, and uh, there'll be a cargo hatch here. So that is the um, the area done there. So that's that little job done. And then from the inside, it looks something like that. And then the next job you want to do is just to add the deck to the forecastle. So it's basically just add wood blocks to the whole, uh, well, to the whole deck. So. Uh, from the center line, we just carry on there adding the deck around the whole thing and fill it all in with wood. So, yeah, we'll go from there. So, I'm just going to stand on this block here and use the fill tool again. So, you just fill wood by three or 200 because I don't need that many. And there we go, that's one side done. And I do the same on the other side, stand on that block and do the same again. And there we go, that's the uh, forecastle all filled in. So that's that front deck done. And it should look something like that. Although it's bare at the moment, there will be areas done, or areas changed. I mean, there will be a uh, an anchor added to the front end here. So we'll have to get the old hammer and chisel out and uh, chisel out a few wood blocks. So that's, although it's bare and not quite accurate in that area, it will change later on. But we'll just get the main bulk of it out of the way. So that's the uh, forecastle area done there. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to the very end Corner. We'll go to the very corners of the f of the back wall of the forecastle, and we're going to add some stairs. I'm just going to work out how we do this. Uh, so we go from the very corner, which is here. I'm going to count eight in. So I can't remember if it's eight including that one or eight afterwards. So I'm going to go over to the prototype, <laughs> over to the prototype, and work it out from there. So bear with me. So we go from the corner. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh block in. So counting the first block, which is this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the eighth block, we start the stairs. And there's that finished section in here with the uh, doors and the windows and things. So that's that. Just a quick look at that, as well as the folks are all full of detail. All right, back to our prototype, or not our prototype, back to our build. So we go back to that corner block, and we'll carry on again. So from the corner block we go one there two three four five six seven eight and then cut two blocks there and two blocks again and two blocks there so it's basically two 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 down there and then we add our stairs so we add stairs 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 gonna need a couple of white blocks under there and then stairs a couple more white blocks and then stairs again so we've got stair blocks like that and then we Remove a wood block there and a wood block there and put a white block and a white block. So you've got the stairs there like that. And then for the handrails or banisters, at the bottom of the stairs you go two up, two up, two up. <laughs> Pardon me. And then same the other side, two up, two up, and two up. So that's that set of stairs there. I do the same the other side. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go do, 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 do. Get rid of them. And then we add the stairs. Stairs, stairs, white, white block and white block. So add the st oh, stairs and stairs, and then for the balusters, two up, two up and two up, and then two up, two up and two up like that. So there we go. That's the uh, the stairs done there, and uh, that little job done. And then finally, for the last job of the folks for today, we're going to go to this side and uh, leave a single block gap from the side so I'm on the, we're on the right hand side here of the ship so from the banisters here on the side leave a single block gap to there and then we cut a hole there and we stick in a couple of doors so I put a door there and a door there so you've got double doors there so it's one block gap from the banisters and we do the same on the other side back to the left hand single block gap and then banisters uh, cut a hole and then put the doors in so there we go there will be more detail added to these uh, smaller walls as well but we'll worry about them later I just want to get the main bulk out of the way and that's that little job done so that's the folks all done for now and then uh, what we're going to do we're going to fly to the stern so let's fly over to the back end and we'll do the uh, the wonderfully titled poop dick and I'm going to change the page of my notes so bear with me on that one Right, and I've got a bit of lag as well, so I may need to do a jump cut, but hopefully not. Right, so if we go to the very tip of the uh, very tip of the back end of the ship, the very tip of the stern, and I shall adjust my notes. So bear with me a second. 
Okay, so now we're on the poop deck. Right, so what we're going to do, go down to the very tip of the stern. I've already got a red block there from when we were building the uh, stern. So from the centre point of the stern, we're going to go and add four blocks up in white. So one, two, three, four. Similar to what we've done on the bow. Uh, so we've got four blocks white, four white blocks up. And then uh, we're going to add uh, 52 wood blocks. So same as what we did on the bow, just add 52 this time. So measure from the first one and add 52 I won't count them I just measure them so it's 52 wood blocks and we get to the end eventually so how many is that that's 42 and that's 52 so it's 52 wood blocks like that and then we add a white block at the end so that's the full length of the poop deck there like that sounds silly doesn't it well, anyway that's the, that's the full length of it and then out to the side you want to build 20 so from the white block you add 20 we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 <laughs> 20 and then 3 to connect to the sides and then the same the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and then the 3 there so that's the full length and full width of the uh, stern deck there like that Right, so what do we do now? We're going to add the white section all the way around again. So like with the bow again, so you're going to build up the sides round to the end of the deck there. So build up the white all the way round to four blocks high. So this is another one of those jobs that can be skipped ahead if you want to and move on to the next thing that's basically just lots of white blocks being added. Uh, well, not far away. I think we can do this all in one take. May as well. Without making too many mistakes. Do, 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 do. In the last two sections. Bear with me on this one. It's going to take a little while. Do, 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 do. And the last section there. All right, so there we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. That's the uh, stern deck sides done. So it should look something like that. Once again, though, the white blocks are not overhanging at all. They're just vertical. And uh, like I say, you can adjust it later on when the tutorial's done but anyway that's that so I'm going to do the usual copy paste to the other side and get the sides done so go from there up to the centre and copy flip and paste and then we'll be done with that so up to there and then we'll do the uh, copy flip paste there we go that's both sides done so that's the uh, stern section more or less done uh, so we go to the front end of it, front end of the uh, stern deck here, and we've got to do some inside walls. So just bear with me a minute. And uh, we're going to go from the uh, we'll go to the right hand side. So at deck level again, we're going to use the yellow block. So the uh, underneath the horizontal section here, start at this point, and we're going to build in three. So we go one, two, three, I think. Yeah, so three there, like that. And then we build back four, one, two, three, four, like that. And then, uh, yeah, we build nine. So I was just reading my notes. So it's three in, four back, and then nine across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then forward four, one, two, three, four. And I think that's that. So that's that side. We'll do the same on the other side. So at the, uh, underneath the uh, horizontal section we go 1, 2, 3 and then 4 back, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 9 across, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 4 forward, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that and you've got the two sections like that and then what we do we just add a line of blocks to connect the two together 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like that. So it's 15 across, and it should look something like that. So afterwards, what we do, we add another line of yellow on top, all the way to the other side. And there we go, that's that. And then we add a white line across the top of that. So just add that. Oh, got stuck. So add the white line. Stuck again. Sorry. So I said sorry for one. Didn't bump into anybody. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And there we go, that's that. And then once again. We add a lot of white line underneath the top line all the way across so we don't need to follow the contours of the inside walls we just follow the uh, line above like so and there we go that's the uh, stern or the uh, the front wall of the stern section done there so that is that section there so from above it looks something like that and from deck level of course it's down it looks something like that so it's basically two tunnels. Uh, so that's that section done there. And then what you want to do is, like on the bow, we just add the wood decking along the top line of the white blocks. And uh, we'll add the stern poop deck. So I just stand on this block again and use the fill tool. Fill in the stern there. So that's that side done. Do the same the other side. And I'll fill in the stern section there and there we go that's that section done and that's the uh, poop deck done I keep saying that sounds weird doesn't it all right so what we're going to do now is go to the sides again I'm going to add the stairs so bear with me on this one I'm going to remember how to do this uh, so eighth block in from the side so from the corner block here we're going to count to the eighth block so that's one two three four five six seven eight is it that right well, I suppose it is, so we add the stairs there, so we remove two blocks there. Actually, I'm just going to double check that, because I don't think that is right. Although I could be wrong. Um, oh, yeah, it is right, so i just double check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's fine. So uh, I, I thought uh, the, the, it went between the tunnels, it doesn't, it goes over the tunnels. So i just double check, I made sure that's right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I move the two blocks there and two blocks there, and then we add the stairs, stairs, and then stairs, and then white blocks underneath for more stairs, and more white blocks, and stairs, and more white blocks again, and some more stairs. And there we go, that's that. And then for the banisters again, we add two up, two up, and two up. Same the other side, two up two up and two up and then remove that one put a white block and a white block there and that's the stairs done on that side so I did the same the other side so we go one two three four five six seven eight remove those six blocks stairs and stairs and white blocks so have the stairs stairs and stairs so and then we add the balusters so two up two up and two up and two up two up and two up and then we get rid of a couple of those blocks under there and then the banisters well not the banisters but the white blocks here add and there we go that's the two sets of stairs done there and I think that's pretty much it for those sections so the portholes on the side so we do the same on the bow the portholes around the side of the uh, of the stern area. We just use um, ordinary glass for this. So it's uh, along the top of the yellow line. So we add a add a window there, but I'm not putting them in any specific order because uh, they are sort of measured. I don't know if they're measured equally on the real ship, but mine aren't. So I'm just going to put a, a window there, and then I leave a three block gap and add another one. Three block gap and then another one. And the further you get around the corner, the gap will be diff uh, shorter. So another three gap window, 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 one, two, three gap window, two, three gap window, one, two, three gap window. And then when you get around the sides here, 
just put them every few blocks until you can't put them anymore in. And then across the back, we had a couple there, and then one either side of the center block like that. So like I said, I'm not putting them in any specific order. I'm just doing them at sort of a random thing. So that's that. So that's one side. I'm just going to use the copy paste to uh, flip it to the other side. And then we'll be okay for there. So up to there. Use copy, flip, paste. And there we go. That's the windows. Added that side as well. So like I said, I'm not doing it in any specific order. But you can measure them out a bit bit better. So like on the prototype, they're not, you know, they're no specific, uh, specific measurements. But you know, it's up to you what you want to do. But that's the um, poop deck windows done there. And there will be a curved section added here for the white, so it cover up the uh, uneven blemish between the white and the yellow there. So don't worry about that. It's a straight edge at the moment, but we'll sort it out later on. So that's the uh, front section, or the back section done. So I'm just going to fly back towards the front and do the windows on the side on the side there. And then we'll move on to the next phase, which will be all the more fun. So like I say, on the sides we add a window there, and then a three block gap window, three block gap or four gap in that case window, four gap window, four gap window, four gap window. Four gap window. Four gap window, uh, three gap window. Is that four or three? One, two, three. That's four. One, two, three, four. And every soul on the gap will get shorter because of the curvature of the bow. Up to about there, and there we go. So, like I said, they're not placed in any specific order; they're just randomly placed. So, I should do the same again: copy, flip, and paste, and then we'll move on to the next phase. <sighs> Right, so up to the center there. We do copy, flip, paste. And there we go, windows that side as well. So that's the two sides done. We've got the bow and the stern done for the, for the uh, raised decks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut while I uh, measure out the next section and then we shall move on. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now we're going to move on to the next section of the ship superstructure, the uh, beginning of the main. Uh, we're going to go to the back end of the forecastle, which is the front of the ship, and we're going to go to the centre uh, of the back wall, which is this one here, and we're going to put a block there because we're going to count uh, from this. Well, I was going to leave a 27 block gap, but not from the back wall here because it's one block shorter than the top wall. So we're going to add a block there to make the gap up. So it's, it's, it's really it's a 27 gap from this wall here, but I put a block there to make up the difference. So on the wood, this block here, we're going to count 27 uh, back. So I won't count it, I'll just measure it. So that's 22, 25, 26, and 27. And on the 28th block, we start building. So I just measure again to make sure that is 27. So from there to there, that's 27. So I can get rid of that one now. So it's a 28 block gap, really, if you, if you don't add that block. But it's 27 uh, from the... Uh, top wall so it's a 27 gap and then what I want to do is uh, get the yellow block back again because that's what's needed uh, not that one not that one All right so we want the yellow block and it's going to be yellow across so we're going to build a line all the way across the width uh, of the ship so the, the width the full width of the ship should be 49 or the full width of the hull anyway so all the way up to the edge there like that like so and then the same the other side up to the full width of the ship like so up to there up to that corner there and it should have a line across the length like that now what you want to do is build a white line across the edge now or not at the edge but across the width uh, it's basically building a wall now so it's bad the white line across like so all the way up to the edge like that so it should look something like that and then what you want to do is increase this height of this wall to, f uh, how high is it? It's two, six high, so that's two high already. So three, four, five, six. So it's like that, so it should be six high. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So we'll just increase it in height all the way across to six high. So set uh, quartz, like so. So now, now that is six high. So from the bottom to the top is six high. Now when we build the sides, the sides, it'll only be five high because we've got the yellow line already in place. 
So they'll just add the white line, add the white section all the way along the side, and that will be five high. But we'll uh, get to that in a minute. So I'm going to go. I'm going to work on the uh, left hand side. So we go from the side, uh, from the left hand side of the back of this wall. We're going to build a line of blocks, uh, 248 blocks long. That's 248 blocks long. So that's the first block there, and I shall measure it from there. And then we just add a line of blocks, 248 blocks long. And it's going to take a while. It should be 248 to the full length. Right, how many is that? That is, that's 127, so still a way to go. Missed one. That's how many is that now? That is now 209, so we're nearly there. How many is that now? That is 243, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that's 248. There we are. 248, as it says at the bottom of that pink line, or at the end of the pink sentence. And then what we want to do is increase that to 5 high, so 2, 3, 4, 5. And then increase it to 5 high all the way. So we go set. Uh, quartz again and now there we go that's five high all the way along so it's a five high wall all the way along the side and then what we want to do at the end of that two four eight block long section we want to add windows so we're going to add a group of four windows two blocks high so on top of the yellow line we add a window there two blocks high and then leave a gap a window leave a gap window leave a gap and then a window so it's four windows like that and then we add the white sections between like that so it's four windows like that and then we add seven white blocks so one two three four five six seven like that and then we add eight windows so we add one uh, two three four five six and then seven and then eight so like that so you got the although it's going in curving inwards you still got a single block gap so it's eight windows like that and then fill in the gaps in between, like so. And at the end of the uh, last eight, well, the, the last window there, we add two more blocks there, like that. And then we increase this one to two, uh, these two blocks to five high as well. So there's two, three, four, and five, like that. And then what we do is just add or increase the height of this section here as well between this seven gap to five high as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five, like that, and then we just add the white blocks across the top of the windows as well. So it's five high there, and then the same across the top of the other windows. So, and there we go, that's those end windows done like that. You can just see them in the distance on the prototype there. You've got the group of four and then the group of eight there like that. That's that section there. And uh, that's that section done. So what we're going to do, I shall do a quick copy paste to do the other side. Because both sides of this are symmetrical. So I'll add a block there and copy from that one. And I'll just copy, flip it over and then we'll uh, move on to the next section. Because <sighs> it's, it's not an awkward job, it's just uh, I want to get everything out of the way first. Do 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 and I'm gonna go for the center block so just remember where the center block is and then we go to there and we use a copy flip again and then paste and there we go that's both sides done so both sides are symmetrical so you've got the five high wall going along the side and then we've got the windows at the end so I just fly down to those windows and then we'll move on to the uh, section at the stern. <sighs> do, 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 do. So we've got the windows on both sides now. And then what we're going to do is on the deck level again, at the end of the uh, last wall here with the windows, actually I work from the left hand side, it's easier for me. So what we're going to do is use the yellow, wall, yellow um, block again. Uh, we're going to build in eight. So using yellow, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
And then we want seven rows of two. We want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And then we want um, a row of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a centered color block like that. Or a center color block. Now we'll do the same on the other side and make sure this is all right. So we'll go from the end here. We we'll go one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the seven rows of two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the row of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that measures up with the uh, center block there. So that is that section there. And then we just double that in height with the yellow to so make it too high in yellow. Like so, and then we just add the white blocks as well. So we uh, add the white section across as well, building it to the same height as the outside. So I just make it actually, how high is it? Is it four or five? I make it, hang on, I just double check it. So I think it should be slightly different to the outside. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see. So we'll make the uh, section we'll go across, and then the corner section make it just five high instead of six. So it's, it's one block lower than the outside edge, as you can see. The outside edge ends just there and then where we build in it's only uh, it's only four blocks five blocks high so we just fly over to the other side although the outside edge is five blocks high it's six really because it's on the yellow but we'll just add uh, this section here this section going across to make sure it's just five high from the deck level so from deck level it's five high so we just do the same across the jagged bit here the back. I just go up to the center point and then I can do a copy paste. Saves a bit of time that way. So that's that's half of it done. And it should look something like that. So I use the copy paste again just to cheat. Go from the bottom to the top here. There we use copy flip paste. And there we go. That's the other side done. And it should look something like that. Marvelous isn't it? All right, so I just got to double check the gap. So, so from the center block of the back wall here we just built, it should be a 21 block gap between here and the front of the uh, poop deck. So I just measure it. So from that block on the wood, and it should be 21. So and yep, that's 21. As it says at the end of the pink bottom sentence, 21 blocks. So you should have 21 gap from the back wall there to the front wall of the poop deck, and that's absolutely fine. Right, so now what we're going to do is fly back to the front end and we're going to add the deck of the ship, or the deck, this deck anyway, it's, no, I don't know what the deck is called, I'm sure someone will tell me. Uh, oh, hang on, where am I going? Wrong way. All right, so we're back to the front end. All right, so from the front end we're going to add the deck and we're going to go to one block below the top. So where we've added the six high section across the front, we're going to go one block below the top and build the deck there. So you got this. So you'll still have the four block gap between the, this deck and the deck we're building. So we just add the deck. Um, I'll just add the deck across for the minute, and then we'll uh, I use the fill tool again. So we'll just get the get the deck in position like so. So when come come and get up. Right, so there we go. So once you add add the deck, it'll be one block below the top. So. You'll know, be able to walk along here and have a barrier here as well. Right, so I'm just going to put a block there and stand on it and use the fill tool and we'll fill the rest of the deck in. If I can remember what the, or where the command is. There it is. So use fill wood 300 and we'll see how long this takes. Do 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 I don't think it'll take this long actually, but never mind. Hopefully it's not screwed up. <laughs> oh, no, don't, it didn't screw up. Right, so there we go, that's the deck still being added, but it's in place anyway. So you can see the deck is now one block below the top of the white, so that's fine. So just fly down to the back end and make sure it's all filled in up there. And I believe it has, and yeah, that is absolutely fine. So you can see where the deck ends. 
the uh, the deck ends at the top of the white section here because this section of the white is one block below the uh, side section so that is that there right so now we're going to add a few stairs across the back here so from the corner block here so from I'm on the left hand side uh, at the back end of the deck we're going to go to the uh, fourth block in so one two three four and we're going to remove two blocks there two blocks there and two blocks there and we're going to add the stairs so stairs 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 white blocks and white blocks for the stairs and stairs like so and then banisters two up two up and two up and two up two up and two up there and add a white block there and there so that's the stairs added there I do the same the other side fourth block in one two three four remove these stairs uh, blocks there and add stairs 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 white blocks and white blocks for stairs and stairs and then the banisters two two and two uh, and two up two up and two up like that oh missed those blocks there so there we go that's those stairs added there and lastly the stairs on the front end there will be more detail added to that back wall as well but we'll worry about that another time we're just going to fly to the front end and add another set of stairs and then we can move on from there so it's only on one side that this stair this staircase goes so I'm working on the left hand side and we'll go from the corner block here and we're going to count inwards uh, 16 blocks so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and we're going to remove a few blocks to put the stairs in so we'll put stairs there, there and there and then white blocks and white blocks for stairs and stairs so that's the stairs added there and for the banisters we go two up, two up and two up same the other side, two up, two up and two up and that's that staircase done there, so it's only on one side that we had that staircase, you don't worry about the other side because the ship never had one that side so it's just one side for there and that is pretty much it I'm willing to do for today, I was going to add windows along the side um, but ah fuck it we'll do it we'll add the windows so what we're going to do along the uh, along the top of the yellow line similar to what we've done with the forecastle we're just going to add a window there roughly two blocks from the front and then every four four gap uh, for every f uh yeah four gap add a window all the way down the side so every four gap window 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 you get the idea of how this works just down the side they're not uh, accurate to the real ship but I'm just doing this because it's what I've done on the prototype so every fourth every four gap at a window so it's every fifth block really and I just do this all along the side and that will get this little job done so all the way up to those um, double windows at the back end so it shouldn't take too long but uh, if you get the proper deck plans then you'll be able to do this properly space them out more evenly and uh, it will look fine when it's all done but remember me I'm just doing this as a remember this is just a base it's a rough guide and it's up to the individuals to make the necessary changes I mean like interior and things like that I'm not doing any interior at all no no grand staircase because um, I, I tried it but uh, if I if I do that the way people wanted it then I just ended up doing the full interior and I don't really want to do that I don't have the research, uh, the time to research it and the time to build it also. That's that. But anyway, that's all the windows added along the side. And I think that last one we can remove because it's too close to the pair, uh, too close to those windows. So I remove that porthole there and we'll just leave it at that. So that's one side of the windows done. So I should use the copy paste again. So I'll copy from there and I'll copy the other side. We'll copy it to the other side and then we'll finish it there because this is taking forever now. So we'll copy, uh, hang on, stand there and copy th uh, that. So we we'll do copy and I'll just paste it the other side. I won't bother flipping it. There we 
I do paste and there we go that's the other side done and that's the windows added there and that's all I'm willing to do for today there will be uh, like I said more detail added to this front wall but we'll get there another day but I think what we've achieved today is uh, quite a lot so we've got the foxhole, the poop deck and the central section done there and all the staircases as well and that's it for today so that's part three down so for part four uh, we'll move up a deck and do the uh, next stage of the superstructure which will be uh, what isn't I know will be the promenade deck um, and uh, some other bits as well so there's still plenty to do so part four will be the promenade deck and all the structure underneath it to support it lots of windows and things and we'll worry about that later on so that'll be for part four and then part five will be the next deck after that so we're getting along so that is pretty much it for today so this is rich signing off logging off and disappearing and i shall return in part four so uh bye for now <laughs>